Okay, so what we've, we've got here are some nice, fresh, fluffy mounds that were probably just uh, put up in the last uh, 24 hours. They're not very large, but you can see from the fluffiness of the dirt and the moisture in this soil that they've uh, been put up very recently. They haven't been hit by sprinklers and haven't dried out in the sun. Now, the first thing you want to do is use a probe. I use this uh, Phillips head screwdriver with about a 12 inch uh, shank on it as a gopher probe. And just probe around, there it is right there. You, you probe around the freshest uh, activity or between the, you know, do a little transect between the freshest activity. But you feel this, you feel for, for the gip, of course, and that indicates there's a tunnel underground. And you want to dig this out, maybe a, a six or eight diameter inch uh, plug of, of, of turf here and here's our, our tunnels underground um, I, I clean out the loose dirt from the tunnels I'm gonna just grab the, the camera here and show you this tunnel for a second Oops. but here you go there's the uh, a tunnel underground and as you can see it, it goes two directions here. It goes back that direction and, and back in that direction and we'll be setting uh, traps in both directions. The traps only work in one direction. Uh, we don't know which way the gopher will be coming from so we got to set traps in both directions and um, again I'll, I'll set this trap again. And that's, that's set and ready to go and I'll put one back in this direction. I do uh, I put it back so the entire trap is underground um, and I do uh, seed it or, or bed it down into the soil just a little bit. I put a little bit of downward pressure on that trap so that it's stable when the gopher walks over it. And uh, we're going to want to put another trap in this uh, in the other direction. Like I said earlier we don't know which way this gopher will be coming so we'll set another one of these in this direction. Um, you want to use some type of a stake to, to stake these down. The gopher may pull the trap underground if it doesn't kill them immediately and it, you also may have the trap with the gopher dug up by a raccoon or a dog or, or some other animal and, and pulled away so the traps will help, the stakes will help prevent that. Uh, finally I do use a little bit of peanut butter as bait. A lot of gopher trappers don't believe you need any bait and you can catch gophers without it but I, I'm pretty sure it helps a little bit. It's just a little dab anywhere behind the traps as long as there's some smell in there uh, that'll help bring them to the traps. And I think if they're pushing dirt around sometimes they'll push dirt into your traps and it'll fire the trap prematurely. I believe with the uh, peanut butter bait um, they will forget about pushing that dirt around and come and investigate that smell and it increases your chances of getting a clean catch on them a little bit. Um, then I, I do lock up behind the, the traps. I just put that plug back in there and filter a little loose dirt over it and that's uh, set up and ready to go. Okay, here's a, uh, a setup we did yesterday marked with these red flags to let us know where the uh, traps are. In this case we also put some, some uh, marker paint around here to run a school and sometimes the in elementary school sometimes the kids pull up these flags. Uh, normally we don't do that. Um, and the gophers are usually in here fast, I and mean, usually overnight is plenty of time. If you haven't got them within 24 hours, you're, you probably need to check and move your location. And we do have two traps set here, um, one in each direction in these tunnels. And this one is obviously empty, not sprung, hasn't been touched. Uh, and hopefully we got them in this other trap in here. And I believe we do. Yeah, there he is. That is a pretty good size male pocket gopher um, and a good catch, got him right right in the chest, um, probably killed him quite quickly and uh, I typically don't reset on the same spot, I look for new activity. Occasionally we set two traps and we, we will catch two and if you do reset on the same location you, you may catch more gophers but it's uh, percentage wise you're better off setting them on fresh activity so I'm just going to clean these up and, and uh, now I want to show you I've uh, spent about an hour and a half out here with uh, I, I have a service business as well and I spent about an hour and a half out there on this school playing field uh, yesterday setting traps uh, with one of my guys and I just want to show you we, we probably sat in about 40 or 45 places and we've pulled those traps already um, 
I just want to show you some of our results from the trapping we did yesterday here. Uh, you can see we've got, uh, uh, I haven't counted these, but I think we've got about about 40 or uh, about 40 gophers here that we trapped in about uh, a couple hours yesterday. And uh, on the all the sets we did, we had about two or three misses and uh, virtually a 100% hit rate. I mean, it's, it's not 100%, it's probably 90 or 95%, but it's very high. Um, so it's, uh, I'm, I don't mean to be, uh, make a gory video here of dead animals, but uh, I do want to show that it's a very effective product. All right.